Welcome back to Fortune Cookie Motorsports. I just got finished watching the finish of the Xfinity race at Bristol. And uh, wow, that was wild. But anyway, let's get to something not nearly as wild, my terrible, terrible fortune cookie idea that uh, has reverted back to its old ways. Unfortunately, our Rick Ware Stan account, only 80 points this time because uh, the curse struck again and Kurt Busch ended up uh, in the wall, so we were forced to use uh, our Joey Gase, our Rick Ware car. So that really hurt us. Only 80 points in the big league, that would have been good enough for uh, second to last for the second week in a row, 57th. And in the big NASCAR and Reddit league, uh, 417th, and I don't really know how many active people are left. Uh, as far as my regular team goes, it did pretty good. We got 7th uh, place, 257 points. We swept the top three in rank. Uh, we swept stage wins, so I got lots of that. But the big thing that got me a lot of points was I completely, almost, except for taking the uh, Chevrolet, but almost got all of the bonus picks correct. So that is, I think, 35, or no, 45 extra bonus picks if I'm doing my head math correctly, which I am almost certain that I'm not. Anyway, let's get picking our team for proper Bristol, asphalt Bristol. I know this is probably not a super popular take because everyone loved Dirt Bristol. And I think dirt racing is great. I just don't like that we have a dirt race at the expense of Asphalt Bristol, which is one of the best tracks on the whole schedule. So I kind of wish we had two Asphalt Bristol races still. But oh well, let's get picking our team. And if there is any hint of Rick Ware on this thing, we're, we're not even risking it. We're not risking somebody else having a blown tire. Okay. I think this one's better. And this one has some faces that we haven't seen in a while, or possibly maybe uh, entirely new faces. First, oh, I, I gotta read it first. Sorry, I'm doing this at a different time. I'm all discombobulated. Your most memorable dream will come true. Okay, I don't know what my most memorable dream is. Anyway, first pick, 04. It's the man with a thousand nicknames who I will not spout off right now, but it is Kevin Harvick. Next pick is the 7 of Corey LaJoy. He shows up with some frequency around here. Next pick is the 12. It's the Velvet Fox, Ryan Blaney. That's a pretty good pick. This is, so far, this is a pretty solid team. Somebody is going to have a terrible time and it's gonna force me to use like the guy that would normally be seated last, but oh well. Next pick is 32, no 32, okay, I think. So we'll move on to 45, there is no 45, and then 14. Where are you, Chase Briscoe? Ah, there we go. Okay, he's starting 19. Okay, so cycling back into 32. And uh, I'll give you unlimited guesses as to who it's going to be. It goes down to 24, it's William Byron. And finally, 45 drops down into 43. And it's Eric Jones, who is once again driving that really cool Tuskegee Airmen paint scheme that I really, really like. And uh, we picked him last time he drove that same paint scheme, and he almost won. Granted, that was Talladega, but still, it's a cool paint scheme. Okay, so here is your team for the Bristol Night Race, one of the best races of the year. We've got Kevin Harvick, Corey LaJoy, Ryan Blaney, William Byron, Chase Briscoe, and Eric Jones. And then we'll quickly take a look at my team. No, no big changes here. It's the top six in starting positions. I'm, I'm out of I'm out of strategy ideas because they clearly aren't working to catch the leader. So stage points, stage points, stage points. That's what we're going for. All right, well, that is it for this one. I'm going to turn the TV back on and see if anybody's fighting anybody else after that wild Bristol Xfinity finish. 
But uh, yeah, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.